In this video, I'll be showing you guys how I went about welding in this tail panel drop off here. Uh, it was a little bit of work, a little bit of uh, tips and tricks that I learned along the way over the years of working aircraft. Get to show you guys that too. Enjoy. Since I ran out of some uh, welding gas, which is uh, C25, it's 75% uh, argon, 25% carbon dioxide. Yeah. Um, gonna go on to something else to keep the project moving along. The uh, drop off panel here. I see it's located. And you can see by where the original marks I had, how much further in this wheel I moved by putting a wrench strap there, by a good eh, quarter inch, three eighths of an inch. But the alignment marks there where I had it still say the same. And uh, so yeah, I can at least take it off, clean off the paint, and then uh, get it ready for welding. Seems like uh, I might be able to get the spot welder up in here. Well, at least on the bottom side because it's a flange. But back in there, I'm gonna have to, to draw a couple holes. And in here, where it meets the wheel well, and uh, there's a little flange right in here. I just, I'll clamp it and make sure this is all flush and then hit it with the uh, spot welder. So, yeah, all right, uh, let's get to taking all this stuff apart. Legitimately, that easy. All right, get my uh, grinding disc out, uh, clean the paint off, and like I guess I'm gonna drill a couple of holes through here so I can weld. Hopefully, get it in there. Well, I think I have to do it while the uh, the tail panel is off, which I'll probably take off and probably take off so I can actually get in there to weld this on. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's not really a plan. tip for you. I learned this one at work uh, 15, 16, 17, yeah, almost 17 years ago. Uh, reverse grinding disc. You can't buy them, you gotta make them. So almost every like Home Depot or Harbor Freight batch of like sandy disc, scotch bright disc, whatever you can buy for a couple bucks, comes with these little arbors for the, strip, the stripping disc or the scotch bright disc that you can get with it. Well, what I used to do was at work when I needed to reverse grind something. I take one of these guys apart for just for the arbor and to do it right you can take sanding disc your regular roll lock 3m roll lock disc and grind another off real quick try not to hurt me get my fingers place to do these with three inch discs so if i don't have any you don't have any two inch And grind off the where the roll lock goes into the uh, arbor itself. 
Then for remember it, that looks like to be about three eighths of an inch. Go get your drill. Uh, where we do it. Grab my little step bit here. And an eighth inch bit. Let's kind of eyeball the center. Does that to be perfect? You have to vibrate a little bit, it can make no difference. So you get your hole through the center. That should do it. Maybe. Not bad yet. I've actually never done it with this arbor. All the ones I had at work were half inch. Ah, perfect. And then you take it, flip it around. Remember these are reverse threads. There you go. So you put it into your right. I take that part, right on our grinder, and then you have a way to back grind on something. All right, so like yeah, up in here, I need a back grind just to get the paint off. So I tried to get the dot go in here, which it would have worked. Yeah, it have worked. but it's just something I want to do because I know like down in here, I know I can't get to it. Before we go spray the copper spray, let's see if we get clean. I know a previous earlier in the video I used uh, Eastwood spray. It works too, but also so does uh, spray my gas cleaner. Uh, heck, gas cleaner, <laughs> glass cleaner, because uh, it leaves no residue. Then I tried it before; it worked pretty well. And the other drop off panel. And you're saying Kev, but you still got the uh, bumper bracket on there, you still need to weld on. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to do that later. I don't really do that with the MIG welder. Probably could take it. Matter of fact, I know I can take it, just don't want to. Get a quick blast of heat, dry off anything.
All right, get a few minutes to uh, dry, or yeah, dry, and put it back in place, and take off the tail panel, and uh, get the spot wall of it. Some time has passed, and time to put this bad boy back in. Oy. Get back to the same spot right now. Pretty nice wood. Kind of weird. One part likes to be high up along with the trunk floor, but the back needs to be down a little bit to match up with the hole for the bumper bracket. Go figure. Kind of weird. All right. Get the spot welder. Also, this is why I took the time to cut the trunk drop off to match the quarter panel there. It flows up nice and easy. And then taking the ratchet strap, pulling the inner structure in. Also gave it a nice smooth transition along there into the trunk drop off on the outer wheel. Well, I've seen a lot of people with videos and their pictures on the restoration stuff where this is all sticking out, all not 
line up perfectly but I think pers personally I think because of the bench strap I had there pulling that in got that all lined up pretty good I'm um, also started to mess around with the little bit up here of the uh, cross member extension I think they call it with this little piece here if it's like crap um, yeah a lot of hammer dolly trimming work and it doesn't look too bad so this actually the quarter panel actually goes underneath the third um, trunk drop off goes in front of the quarter panel quarter panel and then this goes just on the aft side of the quarter panel just want to put that in there before I get this thing out before I finish this video so after some fiddling with the spot welder how to clean the tips grind them down burnt my wrist pretty good on them um, tail drop off panel is uh, spot welded on um, one thing I got to do is buy some different tongs for the spot water so I could actually reach up in there a little easier. Hey, I'm going to learn from the other side so the other side should go a little faster. But they do sell um, different lengths of these tongs. They sell them 12, 16, 18. But also they sell narrow ones so where the, the tip screws into. And these shorter ones of them but longer. And they have them for anywhere from 65 bucks to couple hundred dollars just because the price of copper is stupid on Amazon and eBay as I have to lay down up in here just flash the light on the subject go on there we go you can see the difference where I changed the uh, <laughs> tips how it's a nice pinpoint it melted all that fun stuff so yeah that wasn't too bad to weld on but I know better for next time all right um, yeah I think that's going to do it for this video uh, hopefully this week I can get some um, C25 for the MIG welder, finish welding that in, and then uh, see what else I can get in trouble with. Uh, I'm thinking the uh, maybe finally finishing locating the quarter panel all the way, and then start the lower filler panel for where the trunk hinges get it. Now I'm going to up there. All right, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, all that fun stuff. Thanks, guys. Bye.